Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well as usual. Today's video is going to be featuring the Quest 2 and my latest and best settings for VR, specifically for the Quest 2. At the moment we're flying in southern Argentina. I'm getting good performance, it's smooth, the colours are washed out compared to the G2, uh, but we knew that already. I'm just focusing more on the performance. So now I'll take some time to go through the different settings for the different software related to the VR and the uh, simulator in order to show you the best uh, settings for my performance uh, using the Quest 2. I am using the official link cable to connect the Quest 2 to my PC. I don't use the AirLink or the virtual desktop due to the fact that my router is so far away from my PC that it, it just doesn't make sense to do that in terms of performance. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have the most recent updated Oculus app version 28. The next thing you need to do is to make sure that you're running the refresh rate at 90 Hz and select the rendering resolution of 5408 by 2736. This will give you 1.7 times the rendering resolution. Please remember that I have the rendering resolution set to 1.7 times uh, based on the fact that I'm running a 3080 uh, graphics card along with the i9 processor. You'll almost certainly have to experiment with the rendering resolution settings. Just make sure you don't go below 1.0 which is actual recommended default. And next we have the Oculus Tray Tool. This is the most up-to-date version. Now some people argue that you don't need this uh, for version 28 uh, of Oculus. But I use it anyway, and these are my settings. I've highlighted the things you need to change are the default ASW mode for 18 hertz, and to mirror FOV multiplier 0.70 and 0.70, just click on save. This just enables you to have a smoother experience, in my opinion, based on my experiments. And here we have the actual Quest Link presets. It only has a few of them on there. I tend to choose the GTX 1080 preset. Uh, it's already there. It seems to work uh, with that setting, so I don't actually edit that. I just use that setting as it is. Next, I want to go through some of the NVIDIA settings. As you can see, it's driver version 466.27. The main reason I use this is because I do get good performance, but also it enables me to use my other software without having any other problems on the computer itself. And here we have my NVIDIA 3D settings. Just make sure you select the simulator as the program you want to customize. And you can see if you go through the list, um, I won't read everyone out, but you can go through the list and sort of compare yours to mine. Some of them are left on the global settings on mine. Um, it just seems to work better that way with the Quest 2 compared to the Reverb G2 where I had to change quite a few of those settings to customize it further. Next up we have the in-game general graphic settings. Um, if you notice I've got the render scaling at 80, the anti-aliasing at TAA, terrain level of detail is 100, terrain vector data is high, Buildings is high, trees are high, grass and bushes high, objects level of detail 100, volumetric clouds high, texture resolution high, anisotropic filtering eight times. Texture super sampling eight times eight, texture synthesis high, water waves high, shadow maps 1536, terrain shadows 1024, contact shadows high, windshield effects high, ambient occlusion medium, Reflections high, light shafts medium, bloom on, and glass cockpit refresh rate is set to low. And the last setting we're going to look at is the general traffic settings. For airport life, I put airport vehicle density at 65, ground aircraft density at 46, and the worker density at 62. Land and sea traffic, the leisure boats is at 56, road vehicles at 56, ships and ferries at 62, and fauna density at 67. The AI in multiplayer traffic detail is up to you uh, how you do that. I don't think that affects any performance in terms of VR. The same goes for the first part of the menu where it talks about having nameplates for online players, which is totally up to you. Uh, it doesn't affect the performance. I hope by showing you my latest and best uh, VR settings for the Quest 2 helps get your system uh, up and running really well. I've got to say my honest opinion is I've been using the G2 um, for a while now and my, most of my videos are geared towards that. I got a, a couple of requests to make this video to help people with the Quest 2, so I hope that really helps. But I had a really, really frustrating time getting it to run. It took me at least like an hour to even get it going uh, due to different bugs, different errors. 
and just lagging in terms of the headset. So my biggest gripe, I think the he headset is a good buy, it's a good quality set, but it's so problematic. If you're willing to be patient and work through it, I think it's a fine headset for this sim. Otherwise, I'd strongly recommend get the G2. But I hope these settings help. Um, you can get good results with the Quest 2. You just got to work at it and uh, be consistent. And once you get your personalized sweet spot and winning formula with it, it should work fine. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions or comments. And um, I hope this video helped all Quest 2 users. Uh, in the meantime, take care and stay safe.